All right, I got a, I got a March Brown variation I'm going to be fishing this year, but I'm going to show it to you. This this hook is a 2488, right? Tiemco, 2488, size 10. I like these Tiemco hooks. This is just tan, 8 uni. And we're going to start it, we'll start it basically right there. Go down a bit, take this off, come up. You need some room, because I like to have a dubbing dubbing head on this. The um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on, this is just EP trigger point, and I'm going to put it on the front because this is an emerger, which means it's going to sit like that, like the eye is going to be pointing up, and this will be something that you can see on the water. Now, I, I would say that that if you're wade fishing, it's probably good to throw something like this in there. If you're fishing from a boat, which I have been doing a lot, it's really not going to be necessary because you have just a, a lot better of a vantage point from a boat, and you would be able to see a big fly like this. But wade fishing, it's always nice to just throw it in. So I put it in just in case. Sometimes, I mean, I, I may even be in a boat and then I get out. That happens a lot as well. If you if you row up on a fish and you're too far away, but you don't want to take the chance of back rowing and try and get closer, you just get out. So I do that a lot. So we'll keep that there. I'm going to try and keep this in the center. You don't need much of this. And you want it to be mm, maybe half the wing. And this might actually be a hair too long. So let me just... I think that's good. Now, CDC. Uh, I've been talking a lot about CDC. In these boxes, you know, I was telling you how to maximize your your um, your feathers. Well, in a, in a box, you get a whole bunch of different sizes. One of them is, is which you get a lot of, is this basically just garbage stuff. Um, like really wispy stuff. It's not a puff, but it's not it's not really very useful unless you pile a whole bunch on top of each other. And that's what I got here. Um, I got what do I got? Five here. Maybe I'll throw another one on with a big big fly like a March Brown. It's hard to overdo it, but I mean six I would say on a ten. That's gonna work. So basically this is just natural CDC, six feathers on top of each other. And if there's a curve, try and try and make it go up. Now, sometimes when you line these things up, you can see there's there's one that's a little bit too long. Well, if you grab it and you pull it out and then just put it back on top. See that just helps you line it up. You want them to be in line. It, it really does stick out like a sore thumb if it's not mine. So we need a good length. So I'll put that on. Check the eye. Yeah. Now don't go down too much because you don't you don't want to get these stems involved in the body because they're just adds weight, adds bulk. It's just not worth it. So cut it off. That's one one good thing about these wispy ones is, is that there's not much stem. The stem is really just at the end. So there is a benefit to to um, you're basically getting all floatable fibers in these these small ones. There's just not many of them. There's one right here, but I guess I'll just trap it in. Now we're gonna go down right to there right after right after the cutoff point and we're going to get the tail the tail is got one tiny piece left on this one this is like a it's like an antron uh, it, but it's, here's the company right here where is it it's called darlin and this is different than the ep trigger point the ep trigger point is a is a is a drying fiber so it's a it's a floatable fiber. This is more of a sinkable fiber. And I mean I don't know the real 
reasons behind the difference, but the one thing I do know is is that I, I this EP trigger point is a very wavy, wispy type material, and I think the waviness counter you know when you have two fibers that are very wavy, it it doesn't really provide a good place for water to sit, if that makes sense. Meaning a, it, it sheds water very easily. It's kind of like how CDC sheds water very easily. Um, it, it, it opens up and it allows water to just fall right out. Uh, plus it also has the natural like oils and stuff that, that help it, but it's really the shape that does most of the work. Uh, this is a little bit different. This just, I mean you lick this, it just, it just um, it just gets, see that, it just gets real thin. So, um, that's what we want to use for the tail because that's going to help sink it. Right? And we're going to tie this in here. This should be enough for this one. If not, I'll grab a new piece. So all I do is just pull it right in there. Yeah, that's good. And, and then I tie it. Now, and now if you notice, I'm tying it onto bear hook. And that's really just to... So it saves time and it saves some bulk, but it's not going anywhere. You you put this many turns on. Now what I do is I stop maybe three or four turns from where I actually want it to stop, and then I'll cut it to length. Need a decent decent length here, and then I'll come in here and I'll open it up. See that? So it's, and then I'll tie on top with it when it's open. And what that'll do is, that's just help it, just help it stay open. You can also bring it up and put a turn underneath if you want to. And you can also even throw a turn in in the center and, and keep them like you know apart. But that 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 works right there. Now the rib, I'm going to tie in the rib. The rib is just a gold tinsel. This one happens to be mylar. It's a very thin, small one. So this is, they consider this like 16 slash 18. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's a small. I would maybe even characterize this as an extra small. And this extra small doesn't want to turn on. So let's get it in here. There we go. Let's go back down and let's make sure we stop it right, right there. Dubbing. This is the dubbing I use for all my marsh brown fishing flies. It's just a, it's just a dry fly dubbing. I don't know the name of it. Uh, I've probably talked about this before, <laughs> probably on every March Brown I tie uh, on a video, but uh, I have no idea what the name is. is. I have like three or four packages of different colors and stuff. None of them have a name on it. So when this runs out, it's over. But for now, I'm using it. I like it because it's like, I mean, it looks real puffy, but I mean, when you tie this stuff on, man, oh man, it is so tight. Let's tuck this thing in here. so freaking tight I mean it's it's uh, it's actually like almost tough to use it's so tight so just double check that I, I would start thin Get it. So, I'm gonna go back. You can see how like difficult it is to use. It's real tough. It's a real pain in the ass. thing off. Honestly, it's like you might as well just cut it. And then go back a turn, tighten it, and then get in there like that. So let's get this rib. And we'll 
come through here. This will be the last one I tie with this piece. And we're going to fold this back and then we'll clip it off. Okay. I'm going to put some some legs in. Basically, if we're going to it's it's going to be like a wet fly from just be just behind the wing down. And the legs I'm going to put in is this. This is a this is a wing from a woodcock. I got like 10,000 of these wings. And these feathers right here, these covert feathers, these these are really good for for legs. They got they got like a good like modeling to it. That that here's one. See that? That's pretty cool. And we don't need much, and we don't need much in in length either. So it's important that you you use really just the the tip of it. See that? See right there? Yeah, we don't we don't we definitely don't don't want don't want it too long. So we tie it in at the tip. fold this over too if we can get a hold of it and that'll give it some strength you could probably just leave that tip in to be honest with you but I'll clip it off and now we're gonna do I love these tiny little hack of wires, but they are hard to eat. They're hard to get on. Now we're just gonna do one turn. That's it, just one turn. And we'll catch it right up top here. Now, if you notice here, I'm really trying to make sure that I don't catch in too many of these 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 fibers so I'm sort of like wiggling it when I bring it through I'm being real deliberate here with the the tie off now we'll take this off like that hold on to this wing and then fold this over so this is this can be oh, yeah it can be broken off so that's good. So now we fold it over the tip and we fold it over the, the, the stem. So it's locked in there. And you can see if you take this thing off, it's it's really kind of like a soft tackle. And it looks good. Now we're going to now put some dubbing right in between the wing and that hackle, but not much. We're going to use a different color too. This this is like a real leggy dubbing. It's for nymphs. See that awesome possum. That's a pretty good name. The And the color is uh, dark brown. And we are going to grab some of this. And we don't need much, but we are going to go on this side of the wing and then we're going to bring all this stuff up and we're going to sort of post the wing. So we're going to need to go in front as well. here not too much and you can even go down did I trap in one of the legs I think I did so not that it matters but there is one leg it looks like here I see I'm just gonna clip this okay back to this now now we can go down a little bit but I don't want to collapse that hackle. I, I kind of like it, you know, flared out like that. So just put a little bit there. 
just to darken it up. It's really just for looks, to be honest with you. And then bring this dubbing up and try and wrap back towards the wing and it's going to post it for you and also we want to keep this that EP in the center and then when you think you have like one or two turns left of that dubbing start going down to the eye and then tie it off now we can just hit this With just a black marker and maybe even some some glue here and then we'll finish it off I mean, if you're looking at it like this, that white doesn't look that bright, right? You're saying, how the hell is that going to... Well, when it's, it's really going to be like this. It's got a lot brighter, right? Well, that's, 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 that's how the sun's going to help you. But this... Uh, yeah, there's some fibers down here. The sun's really going to help you, big time. It, uh, it'll brighten it, brighten up that cider big time. And, and that's how it's going to sit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to orientate like this. It's, it's, it's not going to be like this, so it's going to be like that, for sure, because the, the weight of that tail soaked up with water, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it do that. This is why you really need to post that wing pretty good. And if some of this stuff, like, like on the edge there, you can see that, that some of the EP rolled. It's, I mean, if you want to clip it off, you can, just to make it neater, but I don't think it... That's all it's going to do, is just make it neater. Um, I love I love Emergeros. I, I think, I mean, as far as, uh, what do I like better, the Spent style or the Emerger style? Yes. I think Spent, but really, honestly, it's like 1 and 1A. The, the, it, these things work, for sure. I mean, it's 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 really um, it's really amazing. When they know it's not going to take off, they're going to eat it. That's that's the way it works. That's why those high sitting flies they're cool, but it um, and there's a little bit left over here. They're cool, but the the fish really has to be confident. If the fish isn't confident. <laughs> They're really, they're not going to want to come up and grab it. they got to know it's not going anywhere. This is why caddis, or at least in, in the Delaware, they just don't eat them. Because they're bouncing all over the place and they just, they're not sure. And why take the chance? Right? Why expend that energy to go up there when it's, when you, you know, when, you know, who knows? You get up there and it may not be there anymore. So, the emerger and the spent, that's where it's at. That's how it's going to sit, right? Just like this. Hard to, hard, to, hard to beat it. All right. March Brown, Emerger. Thanks.